oil and water colour don't mix, or do they? Well, oil and watercolour don't mix, so please don't go rushing out there and mixing both paints together or you will end up with a muddy mess. But did you know that watercolour can serve as a fantastic underpainting to oils? Hi, I'm Marion Dutton. I'm an artist and a teacher and I love to paint in oils, watercolour and acrylic, a real mixed bag of goodies. So if that's something that sounds interesting to you and you like a little variety, then do consider subscribing to the channel. Perhaps you love oils as much as I do but you've found that backgrounds can be a real sticking point for you. I know that many of my students really struggle when it comes to choosing a background for their portrait or pet portrait. Now if that's you this video could be just what you're looking for. So for the past few years I've been playing around with a variety of different backgrounds to go with my pets or with my portraits or with birds in this particular instance. I really love the abstract kind of background look meets realism. This one's actually um, a free tutorial that's on YouTube and I'll put a link to that in the description box below. And the tracing and the reference photo for this can be found on my website. Again, here's another background that I've done. This one's actually with oils. This is from my pet portrait course, um, one of the bonus chapters. And you'll see I'm really trying to get this sort of loose, abstract style background um, against the realism of the parrot. And here's another one. Um, this is with acrylics. And again, same kind of concept really trying to go for that loose um, abstract background and of course I've used um, these lovely abstract loose backgrounds with my pet portrait course in watercolour and coloured pencil and again I absolutely love um, this loose vignette effect that you can achieve in watercolour however my first love is still oils so to find out that you can use watercolour as an underpainting well my mind was completely blown so I first discovered you could use watercolour as an underpainting to oils when I stumbled upon a video by Bill Inman and I will attach a link to that video in the description box below. It is really very informative and well worth watching. But to summarise Bill's video, it is widely known that you can use acrylic underneath oils as an underpainting or as some initial washes. However, Bill does advise against doing this unless you've left your acrylic underpainting to dry for two to three days. Now this was something I was completely unaware of. Even though they're dry to the touch, they can actually take two to three days to dry thoroughly. And therefore, painting oils on top of acrylics is safe as long as you've allowed that two to three days drying time. However, Bill goes on to advise that none of this is applicable when it comes to using watercolour washes and it is safe to paint on top of that watercolour once the watercolour has dried and that can be within minutes. So with a little more research I came across an article by Greg Watson from Golden Artist Colours and again I will put a link to that article in the description box below because it really is interesting reading and well worth your time to do so. Greg states, allow acrylic layers to dry fully before painting on top with oils. Even thin layers of acrylic can take up to three days to fully dry. We recommend waiting this amount of time after your final layer of acrylic before beginning your oil painting, and even longer if the layers are thickly applied. And this also includes acrylic gesso or acrylic sizing. He also says, that although watercolour under oil is not a widely used technique today, it is surprisingly effective and was well known at least in the 19th century among British painters. We found 
that regardless of whether the watercolour was soaked into the ground or dried over a glossy acrylic surface, that oil paint, medium and or odourless mineral spirits could be applied on top without reactivating the watercolour. Okay, so now we know we can safely use watercolour underneath oils. Here are a few examples of some of my experiments over the last couple of weeks. And I can't even begin to tell you how much fun I've had playing around with this technique. So here is some peonies. I've done these beautiful loose washes. Um, and then the nice thing about this is then I've been able to use the wet on wet oil painting technique to create the flowers. This one is a pet portrait. Again, lovely loose washes, really lovely vignette effect. A little bit of splattering and then switching to oils. I've underpainted this as I normally would with my portraits and pet portraits and then gone on to create all the details. And here's a couple of other um, lovely loose washes and then those on top some tulips, letting the paint run and dribble and just absolutely enjoying playing around with this technique. And then again here, this is on aqua board and um, I've done my portrait as I normally would using the underpainting technique. And um, But of course, first of all, I did the watercolour background before switching to the oils to complete the portrait. And this is one that I did yesterday. And again, you'll be able to see this one's ready for the colour layer. So I did the initial washes on the background, let that dry. And then I went in with burnt umber oil paint um, using my erasing technique, which I have demonstrated on this channel. Um, and I've gone ahead and done the portrait, the underpainting for the portrait. Um, once this is dry, which actually is, it's usually dry overnight, um, I'll switch um, to put in the colour layers on top of this. But I'm absolutely loving um, these sort of loose, transparent washes against the realism of the portraits or the flowers or whatever the subject happens to be. And yes, you can safely varnish the oil painting and go straight over the watercolour once your oil painting is dry to the touch but you must use a retouching varnish or one that is flexible and designed to be used over oil painting that's not fully cured. The one I'm using is Zestit Daymar Retouching Varnish and Jackie from Zestit kindly gave me the advice about using this on top of watercolour and oil and yes, it's absolutely safe to do so. Once your painting is dry from the varnish, you can frame this without um, worrying about putting it in front of glass. I will typically add two, maybe three layers of the Daymar retouching varnish, allowing it to dry between those layers. This particular painting has been dried for about a month now. straight over that watercolour. So I really do hope you've enjoyed this video and it's give you or introduced you to a few exciting new techniques and I really do hope you have as much fun playing around with this idea as, as I have. Did you know about oil over watercolour? Is this something that you already knew or like me it's completely unknown to you and it has really blown your mind on how you can actually use this technique in some of your own projects do let me know in the comments below some of the paintings you've seen in this video are available as full length tutorials over on the Mazar Academy and again I'll put a link to that in the description box below thanks for watching and I'll see you again in the next video